hi guys it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield Texas where we have stumbled into Saturday morning May 5th 2018 and I gotta get into my final clueless moron roundup rant of Humpty Dumpty tribe history and before I do couple of things. Obviously, I want to start out uh, with my comment of the day where I open up my mailbag uh, to see what's on the minds of Alert Tribes members. And guys, I'm, uh, I, I do not want to act like I, I have a teacher's pet. So I'm going to do this one more time. This new fellow who has appeared out of nowhere in the tribe named William Flaherty, F-L-A-H-E-R-T-Y, however you pronounce your name, brother, uh, has taken the tribe by surprise. I, I warned Andy from Zombie Island that, that brother William is getting ready to, uh, if, 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 if Andy doesn't, get on the ball and start uh, bringing in his own comments about the collapse of a planet. We're going to change the channel a little bit for Brother William. So uh, one more time, I'm going to offer this comment of the day <clears throat> from William. I, I think Brother William is a roofer. He's a roofer in New England. So he has the, the view from the rooftops of uh, the uh, Zombie Island, I guess, uh, what will soon be an island. I guess it's a Cape. Cape Cod is not quite yet an island. Give it a few years. But anyway, let's get the view from Cape Cod from Brother William Flair Flaherty. <clears throat> Take it away. You know, brother, I should have taken your advice and left this fucking rabbit hole the day I discovered it. I now see everything, and I mean every fucking thing, through the lens of anthropogenic climate change and the oven we live in. Sure, I was aware of global warming and climate change, but it sat in the back of my head while I worried about more immediate problems that we all endure. You know, paying the bills, keeping gas-sucking vehicles maintained, keeping the animals fed, and stuffing my fucking gullet. Then, surfing around YouTube for a new song to learn on my guitar, I stumbled onto a Guy McHoley Fuck video and was like, how the fuck have I been missing this shit? Should have quit while I was a clueless fucking moron. Having an obsessive compulsive streak can be a great asset when, let's say, for example, you want to be a musician, an artist, a great chef, whatever. Pick your fucking poison. The problem arises when you stumble across this fucking crackpot who calls himself, get this, Hambone Little Tail from Humpty Dumpty Tribe. What seems like a fucking joke turns into the most terrifyingly real in your fucking face analysis of the most important event in human history. Fuck, brother. Why couldn't you have just kept this to yourself, went on your merry way, and fade into oblivion? Or, as Mike Tyson would say, Bolivia? Well, too late now. You can't unknow a terminal cancer diagnosis. Back to that fucking lens. I now see everything through it. I can barely sit through playing one fucking song on my guitar. What's the point anymore? Going out to the chickens and rabbits in my garden is a double-edged sword that brings me both serenity yet severe bouts of dread. I commute every day to Cape Cod, also known as Cape Fraud, Massachusetts. 
This is the capital of clueless fucking morons in my state. <clears throat> I just finished a roof on a house on Paponaset Island, which is an island off the main island of Cape Cod. So is Cape Cod an island now or is it still a cape? Anyway, uh, whatever. For I just finished a roofing job. Uh, for the extra snobby, rich, clueless assholes, these multi-million dollar homes, which are unoccupied, I would say, 50 weeks of the year, and maybe two feet above sea level. Good fucking luck with your summer mansion place, uh, dumbass. The worst part is as you're roofing these fucking gluttonous pigs empty houses all the utilities are on when power goes down from the storms that blast this place all the generators start running so the fucking clock radio on the counter keeps time jesus fucking christ we are so fucked on another job for the town of sandwich a month back we were doing a repair on a lake, doing a repair on a lake where a pine tree had fallen and did a bunch of damage. The town paid us to do the repair. When you look up, there are 10 more pines ready to fall during the next storm. Good God, why the fuck did you spend thousands of dollars when it's going to happen again in a month or three months or a fucking year? The fucking town supervisor shows up. <clears throat> I say, hey, didn't Sandwich just lose 60 yards of coastline during the last storm and a historic building? What are you going to do when the sea continues to rise and the storms get worse? This fuckwad says that the seas will only rise an inch in the next 100 years. Now, rather than go down the ladder and punch the fucking idiotic look off his face that says, you're just a roofer. I'm a college-educated state employee. Know your role. I turned away with that quiet riot in my head and laughed with visions of this fucking accomplice to the end times frying in his own excrement when he realizes I was right. Well, brother, I need to go smoke a fat joint and contemplate how I am going to fry in my own excrement as I go through the mundanities of my clearly polished lens of the end times. And I got them, so I'm smoking them. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Brother William, for uh, news from uh, Zombie uh, zombie roof. I, I can imagine uh, the view that, that, that you get of the ongoings of human society. But uh, with that, I need to wrap up uh, this comment of the day. And before I, I dive into my clueless moron roundup rant, I'm going to uh, risk another copyright violation by playing a couple of of YouTubes from my fellow YouTubers in just one minute. Bye guys.